Hey guys please watch my video till end because the quality content which I will provide you in or less than 3 minutes will be priceless and very useful to you it might change your life so I don't think you will skip my video so let's start the powerful video. Over the past several years, the condition that is commonly referred to as fatty liver disease has become an increasingly widespread health issue that affects millions of people all over the world. In spite of the fact that there are a number of factors that contribute to its development, the role that sugar plays is one that has been the subject of a significant amount of research on the subject. Before starting the video please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for new interesting videos. Within the confines of this blog video, we will not only study the relationship between sugar consumption and fatty liver disease, but we will also investigate the impact that sugar consumption has on the health of the liver. Not only will we talk about a food plan for fatty liver disease, but we will also talk about the crucial part that specialty clinics play in the care of this condition. Gaining an understanding of the disease that affects the fatty liver. Before we proceed with any further research into the connection between sugar and fatty liver disease, it is essential that we have a thorough understanding of what fatty liver disease is and how it develops. A condition known as fatty liver disease, which is also commonly referred to as hepatic steatosis, can occur in the liver when an excessive amount of fat accumulates in the organ that is responsible for metabolizing fat. When this condition is not addressed, it has the potential to progress to more serious conditions such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, or cirrhosis. It is likely that this condition will result in inflammation and a reduction in the function of the liver. The liver is an exceptionally important organ since it is responsible for the generation of essential proteins, the detoxification of the body, and the metabolism of nutrients. When there is an accumulation of extra fat in the liver, which poses substantial risks to one's health, it is possible for these actions to be disturbed. This type of accumulation poses a significant risk to one's health. In order to successfully manage and prevent fatty liver disease, it is essential necessary to identify and treat the underlying causes of the problem. There is no other way to achieve this. Introducing the sugar connection to you. Numerous studies have been conducted to investigate the connection between sugar consumption and the onset of fatty liver disease. These studies have been conducted in a variety of circumstances. In accordance with the findings of a study, it has been demonstrated that an excessive consumption of added sugars, in particular fructose, has the potential to be a contributor to the production of fat in the liver. An investigation into the impact that fructose consumption has on the accumulation of fat in the liver was the subject of one of the research that were carried out and published in the Journal of Hepatology, 1. In accordance with the findings, consuming a substantial quantity of fructose resulted in an increase in the quantity of fat that was deposited in the liver which in turn intensified the processes of fatty liver disease creation and progression. When this is taken into consideration, the potential role that dietary choices play in influencing liver health is brought into sharper perspective. Specifically, the liver's reaction to sugar is as follows. It is possible for the liver to metabolize sugar in a variety of different ways, depending on the origin of the sugar. One of the most important sources of energy for the body is glucose which can be found in a wide variety of various kinds of fruits and vegetables. Consuming an excessive amount of fructose, which is often found in added sugars and high fructose corn syrup, on the other hand, may cause the liver's ability to metabolize it to become overwhelmed. This is because fructose is typically found in these two types of foods. When there is an excessive amount of fructose in the liver, a process that is known as de novo lipogenesis, DNL, takes place. During this phase of the process, the liver is responsible for turning any extra carbs into fat. This fat is therefore stored in the liver, which is a factor that contributes to the development of fatty liver disease. The liver is responsible for this fat storage. In addition, the effects of DNL may lead to inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which further damage the liver's ability to perform its functions. Plan of diet for people with fatty liver. Taking into consideration the significant role that sugar plays in the advancement of fatty liver disease, it is very necessary to adopt a diet that is both liver-friendly and well-balanced in order to properly treat this illness. It is possible that the following dietary advice could be of assistance in the reduction of symptoms and the prevention of further progression. Limit the amount of added sugars that you consume. 
A reduction in the consumption of meals and beverages that include a particularly high amount of added sugars is recommended. This category encompasses a wide range of different products, including sugary beverages, candy, baked goods, and processed snacks. When searching for sugars that are concealed on food labels, it can be helpful to act in this manner. Choose complex carbohydrates. The consumption of whole grains, fruits, and vegetables is a great way to obtain complex carbohydrates and fiber. Select these foods whenever it is feasible to do so. Certain foods are able to prevent rapid spikes in blood sugar levels because of the slower rate at which they release glucose during their digestion process. Include fats that are rich in nutrients. Include in your diet fruits and vegetables that contain healthy fats, such as olive oil, avocados, nuts, and seeds. These foods would be beneficial to your health. Both saturated and trans fats, which are both known to be related with inflammation of the liver, can be replaced by the consumption of these fats, which are essential for overall health and can also serve as a substitute for saturated fats. The consumption of protein in moderate amounts. Consuming moderate amounts of lean proteins, such as those found in poultry, fish, tofu, and lentils, is recommended for optimal health. Protein plays an essential role in the liver's ability to operate properly and to mend damaged tissue. It is critical for the health of the liver to ensure that a suitable amount of water is consumed at all times. With the assistance of water, toxins are flushed out of the body at the same time that water helps the body's overall processes to function properly. In order to control the size of your portion, pay close attention to the amount of the quantities you consume in order to avoid overeating to the point of discomfort. By consuming meals that are both smaller and more frequent, it is possible to achieve the goal of maintaining stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. By receiving expert care at clinics that treat fatty liver disease, patients can obtain better outcomes. Fatty liver disease is being detected in an increasing number of patients, which has resulted in the formation of specialty clinics that are solely concerned with the health of the liver. For people who are suffering from this condition, these facilities provide comprehensive medical care treatment options. A multidisciplinary team that includes hepatologists, dietitians, and other medical specialists is assembled at fatty liver clinics in order to meet the diverse needs of patients. This allows the clinics to better serve their patients. In these clinics, patients receive personalized treatment programs that are tailored to their specific conditions and are tailored to individual patients. These strategies take into account a wide range of factors, such as the degree of liver disease, the underlying causes of the condition, and any other medical conditions that might be present. One of the most significant components of the holistic approach that these clinics adopt is the combination of lifestyle treatments and nutritional counseling, which covers the execution of a food plan specifically developed for fatty liver disease. In addition, clinics that treat fatty liver disease serve as educational centers, provide patients with the information they require to make well-informed decisions on the treatment of the disease. People who are coping with fatty liver disease are frequently encouraged to engage in awareness campaigns and support groups in order to build a sense of community among those individuals. This is done in order to help those individuals manage their condition. The mental and emotional well-being of patients is also a main focus of this all-encompassing strategy which not only targets the physical parts of the illness but also tackles the physical components of the condition. On the way home, a direct message. It is hardly possible to emphasize the role of sugar in the beginning stages of fatty liver disease and all the way through its progression. There is a direct connection between the use of an excessive amount of sugar, particularly fructose, and the accumulation of fat in the liver, according to evidence that has been gathered from the scientific community. It is vital to pursue the adoption of a fatty liver diet plan that places a focus on excellent eating habits in order to properly manage this condition. Additionally, it is essential to consult with expert clinics in order to receive personalized therapy in order to better manage this sickness. By increasing awareness about the impact that sugar has on liver health and promoting preventative measures, it is possible to work towards reducing the burden of fatty liver disease on both individuals and healthcare systems. This can be accomplished by decreasing the amount of sugar that is consumed. It is of the utmost importance to take the appropriate actions in order to achieve a healthy liver and overall well-being. These actions include seeking the assistance of a professional when absolutely necessary and making decisions on our eating habits that are founded on accurate information. Like, 
share, subscribe and comment.